Photo. Let me ask you something, Mike. You and I, we all we all know David Axelrod. Yeah. We're, we're good friends with David. Um, you see him on TV. He looks. I've never seen him look the way he looks on TV. Like his eyes are wide open. He's very seems very upset and very agitated. Have you noticed that over the past? Yeah. Four or as a matter of fact, we, we were talking about it briefly before before we went on this morning. I, I'm wondering, is there something in their internal polling that shows them that there is a pivot point? In, in this that's election that's thinking. really Something's worrying the Obama up. campaign, that we're not addressing, that, that we don't realize something internal in the polling, whether it's the welfare stuff, whether it's, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, people haven't really clung yet to, you know, the ideological ramifications of Paul Ryan being added to the ticket. I don't know what it is, but I, I mean, th th there's a, a sense of unrest at the top of that campaign that's palpable. I'll tell you right. one element that's that's pressing yeah. on them is their theory of the case was to win this thing in the summer by out heavily outspending Romney. Now the Republicans this week, I believe, both sides have suggested to me, are outspending the Democrats, and that'll continue all the way through Election Day. So I think they're a little bit worried that they're going to be buried under an avalanche of super PAC spending in September and October, and that if they don't have this thing in hand by the conventions, they may be in some trouble. Well, and, and Jonathan Cape.